Well, it's fucking a hundred mile an hour wind out here. I'm gonna try this regardless. Be a dummy. I've been jonesing all day to fly ever since I got that little race drone in the mail. I think there's a technique to hub some battery doors and I hadn't figured it out yet. Figure as many hubs as I got I'd figured it out by now. Cut it off and cut it back on. Heck no, you gotta do the drone first, of course. Gotta do the drone first. Try this again. One thing I, now it's bam, I think. Yeah, the only thing I have against this is that it, it that the screen don't stay lit up long enough for me. Okay, it's got tremendous night lights. I usually don't try to fly too much at night. My neighbor's butt hurt over here about it. Uh, I'm gonna go straight to expert, you see. <clears throat> I just wanna show everybody, there ain't many reviews, but look at the night lights. It's out the two ho. But you got to stay on the throttle. And I got so many limbs that pokes everywhere. My memory ain't too good. This thing is a monster. Look how beautiful the night lights are. It says it'll flip. Only thing I'm figuring is it, fl it flips via agility flight. You know, you fly and you can flip it manual flip because this it's got some dexterity and it binds to the H105 SS or H105 FPV transmitter and you can cut GPS off and fly manual with it too I mean it's got some power it uses the Hubson battery I won't get it too high because he's brand new I didn't give much for her but she's my favorite toy right now and she is light she is a third of the weight of a regular h105 and i and the, the motors are a tad smaller they're about the same size as a bugs three i just want to get this little flight out here because ain't nobody really done a whole lot and you can adjust aggressiveness in the uh controller so I got some wind out here. Look how bright them lights are. You can adjust aggressiveness on the controller. She's still holding good with altitude hold. And we, we've got 33 mile an hour wind and gust and 15 normal. I mean, this thing here weighs as about as much as a heavy, I'll, I'll say the heavy side HX5C. This thing is light. To be brushless, it's the lightest brushless drone I've ever seen, and and I like it. Like I said, it uses the Hubson uh, class batteries, which is a plus with the EC2 plug-in, you know. And with this in here being non-GPS, you get up to you know like the 60C or something like that, 75C, and go with a Zippy battery. And she, she'd be a monster. I mean, she's she's a bad boy. And right now, they're, they're giving these things away for like 30, 40, 50 bucks or pay cash 80. I give like 34 for mine, and I sent J-Drone a link to, actually my brother did, sent J-Drone a link to uh, to get one. I, I sent it to my brother. He's, anyway, um, right now, 
I don't think there's a drone for the price can beat it. They're just not. Even me and my brother getting that dang Vortex 180 uh, for $40. Now, that was a hell of a steal. But this thing come with a hobby grade transmitter, removable antenna, and it binds to the X5 01A, but it won't do it because of the GPS. It don't have GPS lock, but it binding and you use a phone clamp to go on it via for your phone for the FPV, you could fly it with this. And this says 300 meters plus. You know, that's pretty good range. And it's got a hobby grade uh, battery pack system, 9.6 volt or to 11 volts this thing will handle. It's got the JST connector, so I, I tried a 7.4 volt, which powered it up. A fully charged 7.4 volt is adequate, which would be like 8.4 or you know volts is adequate for this. It will work. Uh, right now, I got Tenergy uh, AA2800 MAH rechargeable AA's in it right now. And it's showing full charge, it's not showing like a half charge. Or some of them, if you put rechargeables in it, it don't show the full voltage, but this near it will. She's got some power, and it's been raining and messy, and I've had, you know, so much running to do. And the first day it clears up, I've got an AIO. I'm going to pop on this baby, and we're going to see. And... I know that J Drone can bind it to the jumper. I know he can. I cannot get my H501S to 100% bind to engage the motors, but it probably will bind this one. I haven't tried it yet, but I just, you know, it's a different, it's kind of a different protocol, but it's the same. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But he's he's a, a inventive type. Me, I'm more of a, you know. A, you know, airplane or something. I mess with stuff like that more. But this thing is wonderful. I mean, it's, you can adjust the PIDs. You can adjust the settings, the stopping points. They, just like more or less the uh, H107s. So they make several H107Cs or Ds. You got the plane remote. You got the one with the antenna. Then you got now the H107C that's got the same kind of remote that come with the H502E and they're selling those things cheap now when you get that you have got a epic H107C you think the regular H107C is a heck of a drone wait till you get one it's got the newer style digital transmitter not the not the big one this near looks just like the H502E transmitter Oh, baby, that, that thing there's got some range, and you can adjust everything on it. And what it is, Hudson's starting to come out with some new products, and they're getting rid of some of these older ones. This in here didn't catch on too good, and if I'd have known about it, I'd have ten of them. I just went through a crunch, and anyway, long story short, family ripped me off. But I'd, I'd have got 10 of them racers and 10 of these. Every time I buy one, it's cheap. If I like it, I buy two or three. That way, you know, if you run out of parts, you, you always got parts. If nothing else, you crash one. You you know, that's the smart thing to do, you know. This is John Holland signing out.